Here we have an American War of Independence game, which is breaking the siege of Newport in 1778, once again using black powder rules. Um, here we see the American right flank brigade. Uh, here's the central position of the uh, Americans, showing the brigade there, occupying the hill, and the American left flank brigade position again occupying a fairly strong hill position. <coughs> the British forces just compose comprise of two two brigades. Here we see the, the left flank force made up of mainly uh Hessians and Germans and here's the, the right flank which is made up of regular British infantry uh, line and light companies. Uh, here we see the infantry in column start to, to advance towards the American position and the three units of light infantry on the flank start moving forward as well. Unfortunately the, uh, the Hessians and Germans on the on the left flank a bit slow to get off the mark and fail their command roll. Uh, the British light infantry moving up on the on the right flank and here we see the regular line infantry beginning to get into uh, line formation. <coughs> the Americans move their dragoon cavalry out to the, the left flank to counter the British advance and the American right hand brigade advances towards the German and Hessian troops. The American commander has to traverse his artillery in the central position uh, to face the British that are advancing on his left flank. Uh, the German and Hessian troops now begin to get moving and they start advancing towards the American position. <coughs> One of the light infantry units now comes into contact uh, with the Americans and starts firing into the wood and the British infantry on the right flank now form out into line and prepare to assault the American position. And here we see them advancing on the right flank to attack the Americans. <coughs> the American uh, Central Brigade advances over a couple of units to try and attack the British in the in the flank and the American units on the on their right flank start advancing a couple of units to come into contact with Germans and Hessians. Here we see the British line infantry uh, getting into close combat with the Americans on the hill. Unfortunately the German artillery here fails its command roll and blunders forward into the Americans and the British line infantry here are seen assaulting the hill and pushing the American unit off. The Americans counter-attack with their dragoons and the American troops on the right flank assault the blundered uh, British artillery and destroy them. The American infantry that's brought across from the central position now assaults the uh, the British line infantry and here we see the British actually have managed to push back most of the Americans on their right flank and effectively break the brigade defending the American left. British line infantry also managed to hold off and push back two American battalions that uh, assaulted them. The British are now pretty much safe in the position on the right flank. They've achieved their aim of pushing the Americans off the hill and the British infantry here start to attack into the centre of the American position. Again here they've managed to sort of destroy one of the American units. On the American uh, left, uh, right flank, they're actually having more success. They're beginning to push the Germans and Hessians back and advancing quite strongly into their position. Getting towards the end of the game now, the British have 
total victory on the on the right flank breaking the American brigade here and the Americans pushing the Germans back on the British left flank position uh, overall a draw but uh, I would imagine the Americans would have to withdraw back along the road to escape from the British from encircling them